although many states have enacted their own version of the Sherman Antitrust Statutes, Georgia is not one of them. Consequently, most prosecutions of trade restrictions in Georgia are based on federal law. Georgia's laws, however, provide alternate methods for dealing with antitrust activities occurring within the state. The following three areas provide the principal means for internal state enforcement. 1. General business statutes. 2. Statutes dealing with fraud and misrepresentation. And 3. The statute empowering the Georgia Real Estate Commission. Let's start with the business statutes. Legal restrictions that apply to any business professional also apply to the real estate professional in Georgia. To avoid antitrust violations, you need to understand the following Georgia statutes. The Fair Business Practices Act, FBPA, gives the governor the power to prohibit business transactions that would result in substantial actual damage to the citizens of Georgia. The act regulates advertising and restricts activities that encourage consumer transactions. Any licensee who intentionally uses fraudulent or misleading information in an effort to encourage the sale of real property could violate the act. So, what is misleading information? Misleading information may appear in a simple statement to a client or in a public advertisement. In addition, it must have an effect on more than just one consumer and is likely to have an impact upon the consumer public as a whole. Licensees violate the FBPA when, in order to encourage consumer transactions, they falsely represent aspects of their business practice in a manner that does or could impact the general public. For example, if a licensee represents to a prospective purchaser that a property has a public sewer when in fact it does not, the licensee has not violated the FBPA. However, if the licensee advertises in the newspaper that 10 lots in the subdivision have a sewer connection when she knows they have septic tanks, she has violated both the FBPA and the license law. Penalties under the FBPA There are several penalties under the FBPA that you should be aware of. First, a licensee who violates the FBPA may be subject to a fine of up to $25,000 per violation. If guilty, a licensee may be prohibited from engaging in similar activities. Finally, citizens have the right to bring their own civil actions against violators and, if successful, can nullify all contracts and collect up to three times the amount of his or her loss, plus attorney fees and court costs. Next, we'll cover the Uniform Deceptive Trade Practices Act, UDTPA. The UDTPA is similar to the FBPA. The UDTPA serves as a mechanism to provide penalties for individuals who fraudulently misrepresent aspects of the service they provide to their clients. The major difference between the FBPA and the UDTPA is that under the UDTPA, no actual consumer transaction has to take place for a violation to occur. The UDTPA potentially has a much broader application than the FBPA. For example, if three brokerage firms conspire to fix commission rates and then advertise their competitive rates in the newspaper, they have violated the UDTPA. The fact that the advertisement contains misleading statements is alone sufficient to prove a violation of the act. No sale needs to take place, and no proof of consumer reliance on the advertisement is required. Under the UDTPA, conspiring to fix commission rates or to divide geographical territory could result in a lawsuit. Penalties under the UDTPA include fines, injunction, and anyone bringing a civil action against a wrongdoer can recover three times the amount of his or her loss, plus attorney fees and court costs. Finally, there are Georgia laws prohibiting fraud and misrepresentation. By definition, fraud in Georgia consists of 
any kind of artifice intended to deceive another. The artifice can be an act or a failure to act on the part of the one who is justifiably in a position of trust or confidence. The nature of the relationship of a real estate licensee to a client automatically creates the duty of loyalty. The relationship to a customer creates a duty of honesty and good faith. A breach of either duty can result in the nullification of a contract, the forfeiture of any commission or other fee owed to the licensee, a civil suit for damages, or sanction of a real estate license by the commission. For example, if a listing broker withholds from the seller any important information concerning a prospective purchaser's offer, that omission can result in the failure of a contract on the property, and the agent has committed fraud. Many of the activities prohibited by state and federal antitrust laws are also fraudulent activities. Since Georgia lacks specific antitrust laws, a licensee is more likely to face an action for fraud than an action for antitrust.